Hi, I'm Brett, the founder and CEO of Gatsby. And today I'm excited to show you quickly how this solution works. So to start, every brand, every merchant that's using Gatsby will add a form or a field somewhere on their website that asks their customers for their Instagram handle. There's three primary locations for this to take place. The first one is on an ambassador page, ambassador signup form, kind of like this one on Promix, where you can see they showcase their uh, exclusive perks to becoming an ambassador, and they embed a very simple, in this case, Clavio form that asks for email and handle and TikTok handle as well, which we can now provide insights on too. Uh, other clients will also do it right at the order confirmation page step. So this is a Shopify order confirmation page. And here's a Clavio form embedded right here. And then a third popular spot is actually in the pop-up you're running on your site. So in this case, this is a just Uno pop-up. Um, and here they have a field for Instagram handle as well. This is an optional field most of the time in a pop-up, uh, whereas on the order confirmation page or a landing page, it may be required. So that's step one is just ask your customers to opt in and provide you with their Instagram handle. Looking at a recent case study, we can see that the opt-in rates are very strong uh, for all three of these locations. So on your pop-up, we're seeing in this example with a customer, um, a 3.27% conversion rate or a form submission rate on this pop-up over the past 90 days. Um, and then on the landing page example, 31%. Uh, opt-in rate and then on the order confirmation page an amazing of uh, roughly seven percent of customers who check out are providing their email and handle into this form so that's step one is just ask your customers to provide you with their instagram handle now step two is all of those handles will be synced with your gatsby account so that looks like this and here you'll be able to see every handle submitted and enriched with their publicly available profile metrics, like their public profile image, how many Instagram followers they have, people they follow, posts they've done, as well as all the keywords in their Instagram bio. And then similar insights as well for TikTok. So now you have the option to, or the ability, I should say, to group together and filter and sort your customers by influence. Now this is super key looking at the data inside of Gatsby, but it's also really helpful when you can sync this data, these, these insights with the other marketing automation tools you're using like Klaviyo, Gorgeous, Yachtpo, Loyalty, uh, Sail Through, OmniSend and more. So let's look at Klaviyo for a great example of how this works. So here are these, these customers who have entered their handle into our demo account. And then here we are in Klaviyo and you can see that those insights sync over to the Clavio record. Here are their Instagram follower stats and their TikTok follower stats. So there we are, step one is collect handle. Step two is to get the insights and sync it with the tools you're using. And now step three is to build out a, an automated system to get all of the influential customers engaging with your brand on, on Instagram, both in their post as well as their Instagram story. So let's look at what that template might look like for your brand. In this case, uh, this is a Clavio flow template that is being triggered every time somebody gives you their handle and therefore subscribes to this Gatsby list in your Clavio account. So here they are, they give you their handle. You might wanna wait maybe three days or at least a few hours until you go and reach out to them. And then because all those insights, like how many followers they have, number of posts they've done, all that synced with their Clavio account, you can now build conditional splits that takes this into account. So for example, Let's say you only want to be working with customers who have purchased from you guys before and have at least 500 Instagram followers and up to 20,000 Instagram followers. So you can create that filter right here. And then if this customer meets that requirement, they receive that first automated email offer that says, hey, you're in, you're into the ambassador program. Go ahead and publish some content and we will reward you with X, Y, and Z code. In this case, in our demo, a 50% off code. Some of our clients give away free merch, like a free water bottle um, or other exclusive perks for their influencers. But the key here is that you don't have to give your customer anything upfront. You make them an appropriate offer based upon their level of influence. And then our system, Gatsby, synced with Clavio, can go and automate that reward when they do it. So let's look through this flow a little bit more. 
So here they are, they've qualified for this, this program. But let's say they don't have this many followers. Let's say they have either less than 500 Instagram followers or more than 20,000. In that case, they go down this channel where if the person does have more than 20,000 followers, then that can, instead of doing an automated email to them, that can just send a message internally to someone on your social media team with their information saying, hey, this customer just submitted their handle. They have a ton of influence might be good for a one-on-one -on -one collaboration with the team. So that can be sent automatically to really help your influencer marketing manager source more, uh, you know, key larger influencers automatically. And then let's say they have less than 500 Instagram followers. In this case, you may not want to offer them a, you know, a ambassador program offer at this time, but you can still give them a nice email with a, a coupon code as a thank you for their, for their submission. So all that's automated there. Now let's look through this, this primary journey some more. You made them the offer. Now, instead of having to go and manually check every day or every few days for them to post, Gatsby will do that for you. So inside of Gatsby, we will be keeping track of every customer who then mentions you on Instagram once they've given you their handle. So here we can see in my demo account that 16 of my 116 customers here have now mentioned me in content. Here are the people who have done that. And in fact, we can open up the messenger icon at any time and see the running Instagram DM feed with this customer right now. So we can see they mentioned me or mentioned our brand in their Instagram story on these two dates. And they even sent us a DM. And once they go and they, they mention you in a story or send you a DM, that unlocks this message capability. So you can now respond directly here. And this goes right back to their Instagram DM as well. So now you can actually organize your Instagram DMs with your influential customers or your influencers directly in one view, it won't get buried on your mobile DM feed. So let's go ahead and keep this journey going. Uh, this person Gatsby to you eight has mentioned us in content. Let's scroll down here to the media section and see what that looks like. You can see here, we're, we're actually tracking stories as well as posts. So if the customer does a story, we do pull that content in and we tell you that it is previewable uh, for the first 24 hours. And you can go ahead and even open up this image at any time and take a look at it directly in the browser. If it's a post, we save that content for you indefinitely. Uh, we also save it in the high resolution format for you. So you can repurpose this for your other marketing initiatives. So great. These customers are now posting content about you and we are able to track it for your brand, but that's not happening in isolation. Every time this customer mentions you in content, we don't withhold that you know, data here in Gatsby. We also share that with the tools you're also using, like Klaviyo. So if we look here back at our Klaviyo flow we were looking at, we can see here that we've now had this flow uh, running for seven days. At this point, Klaviyo can check, hey, has this customer mentioned us yet in content? If they have, great. They exit the flow and maybe we go ahead and apply a new profile property that we can look up later. If they haven't mentioned you yet, we can now automate re uh, reminder emails. So in this case, a reminder goes out saying, hey, just a reminder, get your 50% off code by publishing a story about you know, your new favorite product. And this can go on as many times as you like. You can say 13 days later, check again. Have they mentioned us now in the past 13 days? If they have, great. If they haven't, send another reminder. And this can, again, go on as long as you need. Now, once they do do that, that mention, either in their story or in their, or in their feed, we pass that event to their Klaviyo record. And that looks like this. So here you can see right here in the Klaviyo timeline, where you would see their open history, their purchase history. You can now layer on top their mention history, their Instagram mentions that mention your brand. So here we go, three hours ago, this customer uh, mentioned us in a post. This also would show you stories. And then this is super useful, both to aggregate how many mentions you're getting over any time period for other you know, purposes um, and trigger the workflow automation rewards. So here we are in a second Klaviyo flow that we will give you um, upon you know, onboarding Gatsby. It says, hey, every time a customer now mentions us in content, let's go ahead and send them a reward. So this flow says, all right, let's go ahead and check. They haven't been in this flow in the last day because, you know, someone might do five stories in a row. So you want to just give them one reward for that, you know, that series of, of mentions. 
And then you check to see, all right, have are they in the ambassador segment? Do they have between 500 and 20,000 followers? If so, they can go ahead and receive that, that email with their, their thank you and their reward. And this can go on multiple times. You can say, all right, if they mention you again days later, they get the second email and the third email and so on. And this is so key because customers want to be acknowledged by the brands they love that they share content about. And it's really hard to acknowledge all the customers mentioning you on their story and their post. Oftentimes you might miss it within 24 hours. So this helps you make sure that you are gonna give that, that, uh, that quick shout out, that quick hello to that customer who is spreading the love. So at this point, uh, you've now collected Instagram handles, scored how many of your customers have influence, automated outreach to them, tracked when they publish story content and posts, and sent them a reward all to your, uh, to your benefit automatically. Now that was a quick demo. We have other integrations like with Gorgeous and Yapo Loyalty, other, other features as well. So please reach out with any questions and we are, are more than happy to walk through a one-on-one -on -one demo uh, for your needs. Thanks so much for listening and have a great day.